In Korea with Hyunwoo. So with Hyunwoo 선생님, we're going to discuss some interesting Korean expressions, and uh, he's going to help us translate them into a proper English expression. Good morning, Hyunwoo 선생님. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. So Hyunwoo 선생님, 요즘은 선녀 타고 있어요? 없어요. That's good because you're married. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Did I phrase that right? Uh, uh, no, actually. Oh. 선녀 있어요? 있어요. No, 혹은 선 타고 있어요? 아, 선 타고 있어요. 그렇죠, 그렇죠. Or 선녀 있어요. 네. 그렇죠, 그렇죠, 그렇죠. <laughs> okay. 네. Uh, I'm glad he said that. No, oh, yeah, no of course. Uh, okay. 네. I don't have a 선녀, but I have a 선녀 living in my house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Oh, my. Do you know what that means? Angel from yeah, heaven. Right, yeah. Oh, mm. that's a Anyway. See? Good answer. <laughs> good answer. Uh, yes, Keanu, good to see you. How are you today? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, the weather is really, really cold these days. Mm, yeah, it's really cold. cold. It's winter. No. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, by the way, uh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Really? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We've all become one year older. It's crazy, isn't all it? Together. It's 2015. <laughs> yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah. Uh, any New Year's resolutions for you? Well, just be happy, I Aww. guess. Work less. Play harder. Mm. Yep. Oh, yeah. mm. Always good ideas. Mm. Yeah. All right. So you have a quiz question for us today? That's right. So what do you call a drink or snack that restores your energy? Number one, pick me up. Number two, trick or treat. Once again, please. What do you call a drink or snack that restores your energy? Number one, pick me up. Number two, trick or treat. Mm. All right. Thank you, Hyuna. You can put your answers on our Bundy board or text in on your cell phone, pounder sharp 1045 for 50 or 100 won, depending on the length of your text. And check our uh, message board later to see, or sorry, our website later to see if you're a prize winner. What's the prize? Mm, what's the prize? Well, it's going to be Omega 3. Take it, Smida. Okay. So please, um, uh, we're going to play some clips to get some ideas about what uh, topic is going to be today. 신년 특집 청취자 기살리기 프로젝트 그 셋째 날 오늘도 품질 좋은 양질의 기가 많이 준비됐으니까 여러분 기 많이 받아가세요. Hello, 우리 아이 자신감 키우기 위해서 혹시 식당에서 막 뛰어도 애 기죽일까 봐 그냥 놔둔 그런 경험 없으십니까? 혹시 내 주변에 그런 아이가 있는? 그럼 나한테 한번 딱딱 맞아볼 수 있어? 음메 기주 음메 기자라 어여서 막 떨어 와 어이 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 손님인 게좀 안... 어이 어이 근데 이거 아리랑 부부 아니에요 쓰리랑 부부 아니에요 아리랑 부부 아니에요 That was from like 25 years ago <laughs> Oh really? That's right yeah. Really famous um, yeah. uh, the comedy program actually I see That's right yeah. wow. 자, so key I hear a lot of key there mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Key So 네. we're talking about key 살리다 specifically oh. But we can talk about some other rela- related expressions to key, I guess. Mm. So key, Steve, do you use the word key often? Key, when I hear key, I think of um, martial arts clothing mm-hmm. and also energy. Mm-hmm. Energy. Yeah. Right, some sort of surrounding energy, right. like an aura. That's right. That's exactly what we're talking about oh, Okay. Today. Your energy, flow of energy. Exactly. That's in your body and coming in and out of your body, mm-hmm. uh, supposedly. So key... 죽다, 살다. I think we can oh. talk about it in two ways. Right. 그러니까 기를 죽일 수도 있고, 음메 mm-hmm. 기죽어, 음메 mm-hmm. 기사라 이렇게 되는 거잖아요. That's right. Mm. So, uh, on a related note, first though, um, I have a friend who was born in the States. Okay. And he, she came back to Korea when she was 13 years old. Okay. Uh. And she was one day very discouraged and sad. And the teacher, who was also my teacher, she asked her, Mm. And then my friend, who did not understand the expression 풀이 죽다 or 기가 죽다, she said, 제가 안 죽였는데. (laughs) (laughs) She thought 풀이 죽다 meant Mm. like the grass died. Mm. Oh, but it just means to be discouraged. Oh, in the mm. same way that you say 기가 죽다 네. okay. to mean discouraged. I see. So I, I didn't like, kill that grass. I right. Kill that. I didn't do that. <laughs> right. Mm, 그렇구나. Mm-hmm. So it can be a diff- like difficult expression to understand. Slippery <laughs> again, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, 기 and aura are words that don't come up very often in English mm. conversation. Oh, right. They're kind of words that are reserved for probably things like yoga mm-hmm. or 
some sort of exercise related to your spirit, exactly. I guess. That's yeah. right. So okay. it's more oriental, mm-hmm. I guess, mm-hmm. the concept itself. But in Korea, for many reasons, it's still being used quite commonly. Mm-hmm. So when people say 기를 살리다, which is important in the New Year spirit, mm-hmm. uh, you can translate to um, maybe to encourage or to cheer somebody up. Okay. Ah. Uh, Cheer up, now, mm-hmm. that our favorite expression. Yeah, cheer right, up. right, right. <laughs> I'm being a little bit sarcastic here. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, the 기를 살리고 기를 죽인다라고 할 때, mm. 기가 죽었다라고 할 때, 주눅 드는 거 있잖아요. That's right. You feel intimidated. Mm-hmm. 그러니까 보통 이렇게 외국 분 외국에서 오시면 만나거나 이럴 경우에 좀 영어에 주눅이 들어서 mm-hmm. 이렇게 뭐 말을 잘 못한다 이런 경우도 뭐 울렁증이 있다든지. Mm-hmm. Okay. You feel intimidated among like English like, native speakers okay. English. 할 yeah. 경우도 있고. Or maybe another example. Would be if you are new at a company and there's a right. company party and everyone seems to know each other very well mm-hmm. and you don't know anybody mm. and you feel like oh I don't want to talk to anybody mm. yeah like that kind 그렇지, of feeling 그렇지, too exactly. Okay. 그러면 뭐라고 그래요 그럴 때? Well. You feel like I don't think there's one specific. Out of water. Yeah, oh. like a fish out of water. Fish out of water. Oh. Yeah, but that's specific to. Uh, being in a location mm-hmm. or a job when mm-hmm. you don't feel comfortable being there. Mm-hmm. Right. But uh, to answer your question, I don't think we have one specific mm-hmm. expression mm-hmm. to describe how you I feel. See. Yeah, But just a, a general feeling of being uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. uncomfortable. Yeah, I feel really uncomfortable. How about in a situation like where you are uh, competing with other people Okay. Mm-hmm. and there are five other people who are competing uh, with you okay. and then you are the last person to go on stage oh. yeah. and all the other people did Fantastic jobs, yeah. Oh. And you feel like you are the the weakest one. Okay. Mm. In that case, you can feel 기가 죽어, 아, 기 죽어. 아, okay. How would you describe your feeling in that particular situation? Um, <laughs> very, very specific here. It is super specific, yeah. <laughs> But is it is closely related to 기가 죽다? You know, know that's probably a, that's probably a good question for Brad when he comes in because he was on a reality show that's with right. many other talented mm. people. Not to say that Busker Busker wasn't <laughs> talented, uh-huh. but Mm-mm. there were many other people who performed ahead mm. of them who were probably very good. So how did Brad feel at that time? <laughs> oh. Inadequate. Ah, uh, yeah. the ball is insecure. In his court in, oh, now. insecure. Insecure. I think mm. feelings of insecurity mm-hmm. would be a good word, and you could use that about. that party example too Uh you know you can feel really insecure and that what what that means is a lack of confidence Mm -hmm. at that particular time exactly so you have a lack of confidence Mm. or you don't feel confident right so you feel insecure Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm cheer somebody up to isakko make somebody feel better the you know what it's away ku sagiril ge jinjak shikindaraen kuran pyeonuro baro journalism english is tokki mae nonu boost the morale of somebody or mm-hmm. a team to naojanae that's right or a pick me up mm-hmm. pick me up yeah and yeah. that's yeah. that's a nice simple expression that you can use for people or for things mm. yeah uh, i know that in the original sense it used to refer to liquor Mm. or other things but uh-huh. now i see it used as um a, a, with a broader meaning than before yeah. so people refer to songs as a pick me up or something like that yep you could use it that way mm-hmm. to give you more energy mm-hmm. but you could also use it with confidence as well for example if you are at that party or if you are ready to go on stage and you call your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your friend and you say hey how you doing why are you calling Oh, I I could just use a pick me up right now. Uh. I'm just about to go on stage, blah blah blah. Or uh, I'm at this party. I don't know anybody. I'm uh. feeling I'm not feeling very uh, confident right now. I could just use a pick me up. So you could. So that's why I said people can be that as well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I could just use a pick me yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. So that kind of pep talk kind of needs. Yeah. But right. you could also use a cup of coffee as a pick me up as well. That's uh-huh. when your energy is low. Mm-hmm. So there, I guess there's two two cases where you could use that kind of pick me up when you're feeling down mm-hmm. or when you're feeling a lack of energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I whatever see. gives you more energy mm. can be a pick me up. Right. Mm-hmm. 아, 네, 아까 우리 들었던 클립 중에서 한 어떤 그 교육 상담하시는 분 mm-hmm. 같았는데 아이들이 막 식당에서 막 뛰어다니고 그러는데 어, 불구하고 the actually moms or dads they just don't, don't do anything about their children who go rampant. Right? Mm-hmm. 어, 그럴 경우에 좀 기죽이기 싫어서 내버려 둔다라는 mm-hmm. 말이 있었잖아요. 그런 경우 어떻게 하면 좋을까? You don't want to discourage your children or you don't want to let them feel 
down or less confident? 뭐 이런 건가요? Yeah, you don't want to kill their confidence. You don't want to kill their confidence. Yeah. 아, 좋네. Mm-hmm. So 네. that's what parents are usually concerned about, uh-huh. right? They want to give them discipline, but then they don't want to hurt their feelings either. Uh-huh. Mm. So they just let them do whatever they are doing. Mm. <laughs> Some hurt feelings when you're a small child is okay from time <laughs> right. to time. <laughs> 그러니까. yeah, that's right. You'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. 자, okay, 이제 길을 살리고 또 길을 죽이고에 mm-hmm. 관련된 표현들 알아봤습니다. 여러 가지가 많네요. That's right. We talked about a lot of expressions. Exactly. Today. Yeah. And we're already out of time. So, Keanu, can we get the answer to your quiz, please? Sure. Uh, we already talked about it, but uh, the drink or a drink or snack that restores your energy is called a pick me up. Pick me up. They're all hyphenated. Pick hyphen me hyphen up. 이렇게 쓰게 되네요. Okay. 정답 주신 분들 가운데 추첨 통해서요 선물로 저희가 오메가 3 보내드리겠습니다. Excellent, Hyunwoo. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. All, all right. right. See you next time. Bye. Bye.